in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Today, we reflect on the Gospel of the Monday in the fourth week of Easter. Today's Gospel tells us of Jesus the Good Shepherd. In this passage, we see Jesus revealing the true nature of relationship between the shepherd and his sheep to his disciples. A reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verses 1 to 10. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but climbs in by another way, that man is a thief and a robber. But he who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the gatekeeper opens. The sheep hear his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. A stranger they will not follow, but they will flee from him, for they do not know the voice of strangers. This figure Jesus used with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So Jesus again said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not heed them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it in abundance. Let's read again and watch for that word, phrase, idea, thought that stands out for us. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but climbs in by another way. That man is a thief and a robber. But he who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the gatekeeper opens. The sheep hear his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. A stranger they will not follow, but they will flee from him, for they do not know the voice of strangers. This figure Jesus used with them but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So Jesus again said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, 
I am the door of the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not heed them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it in abundance. The next step, Meditatio. Here, we take the word, phrase, idea or thought that stood out for us and go over them over and over in our mind. The words from the passage that stood out for me are His Own. Next step, Horatio. Now take your word, phrase, idea or thought that stood out and the reflection that came from them and start to tell them to God. Talk to Him your own feelings and emotions about them. Final step, Contemplatio. You have spoken to God. Now expect God to speak to you. Even silence is what God speaks to you. Be still and know that God is near to you.
Now let's conclude by voicing a thanksgiving prayer to God. Dear God, we thank and praise you for your goodness and kindness. We praise you, Lord, for you are the Good Shepherd. Thank you for you gave your life to protect and save us. Truly, Lord, you are the door that leads to eternal life. Thank you for calling us to this abundant life. Lord, we pray, help us to hear your voice and to recognize you. Give us the grace to have a close relationship with you and make us your own forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.